Welcome to Apothecary Talks. I'm Dr. Jillian Stansbury. This is a segment of a series where we are introducing beginner herbalists to various actions of herbs. Creating custom herbal formulas requires many skills. One is learning herbs individually, known as Materia Medica in herbal medicine. Materia Medica is those medical materials, basically your list of useful plants, A through Z, aloe through zingiber or ginger, and learning their specific niche indications along with their predominant actions. Actions would include agents such as alterative herbs and adaptogens. Please see our separate recordings on those topics, anti-inflammatories, antimicrobials, diuretics, Please see our collection of recordings that take us one by one through these important actions. So learning individual actions of herbs is an important step in mastering herbal medicine to become an effective clinician and put together effective formulas. For example, treating IBS, treating uh, diabetes, treating arthritis, you don't want to just put into your formulas every herb you ever heard was good for diabetes or good for arthritis, but instead ask yourself, what actions do I want my formula to perform? And you will end up putting together much more effective clinical formulas. We want to pick and choose amongst our Materia Medica options, differing actions so we cover the bases and enable our formulas to perform the desired actions. So here in this particular segment, we are looking at carminative agents. Carminatives are something that dispels gas and bloating, so they're mainly going to be useful in our digestive formulas. So if we're treating IBS, we might want one carminative agent and one laxative agent if there is constipation. On the other hand, we might want one carminative agent and one demulcent agent. If there's diarrhea, or we want to heal an ulcer, a digestive ulcer. We might want a carminative agent for young children with just simple tummy aches, or even infants with colic, though it's difficult to give infants herbs, we can use them topically. So a carminative is an agent capable of dispelling gas and bloating from the stomach and intestines. Some of the most useful ones, because they're readily available, inexpensive and tasty, are mint, chamomile, and the APACA family. The APACA family is also known as the umble family. This includes dill and caraway, fennel, anise, cilantro, coriander are all in this family. And these are all gentle and for the most part tasty plant medicines that all have an ability to smooth, uh, soothe uh, smooth muscle contractions in the gut. They're calcium channel blockers for smooth muscle of the digestive system, which is one of the mechanisms of action by which they treat cramping um, in the intestines. Their good taste also makes them palatable in teas and even suitable for some children who will drink a fennel tea, for example, and some of them can be used topically as well. When gas and bloating are due to hypochlorhydria, that's low stomach acid, or biliary insufficiency, that's poor bile production in the liver or concentration of bile in the gallbladder, we might want to combine our carminative herbs uh, with alteratives or bitters or GI stimulants. And here we'll take a look at some of the carminatives that are more cooling and relaxing versus some of the carminatives that are more warm and stimulating to pick and choose between our Materia Medica options for best results. Some of the warmer, hot, spicy carminatives would be cayenne pepper, ginger, cinnamon, and even black pepper before meals do have a carminative action, especially when low stomach acid makes people produce insufficient um, acid in the stomach or insufficient bile flow or insufficient peristalsis in the gut or insufficient digestive enzymes allows food to sort of sit around in the stomach too long 
where it ferments and fermentation will release gases that can create flatulence, discomfort, bloating, sour eructations, GERD, that's gastroesophageal reflux disease. In some of those situations, you don't necessarily want to take an antacid, um, which is a common mistake in the medical community. Instead, you want to stimulate acid and enzymes and bioflow and digestion and do so in combination with these carminative herbs to prevent any kind of over um, stimulation of the gut that worsens discomfort. You craft your formula just right to be perfect for such an individual to both stimulate digestion as well as relieve any gas and bloating or nausea. And some of those hotter spices are appropriate. In younger people, we tend to want the cooling herbs, and sometimes in older people, as we age and our gut becomes more insufficient, we want the hotter herbs. So the relaxing carminatives would be appropriate for tummy aches and toddlers, anybody with gas and bloating, even car sickness, some of these will help when we have nausea or indigestion simply from motion sickness, mint, that's mentha, Chamomile, that's matricaria, foeniculum is fennel, and pimpanilla is anise seed. These can be rubbed on the digestive tract over the abdomen and in stomach and intestines. Mint or fennel essential oils, either direct out of the bottle, they're some of the more gentle essential oils, or diluted with olive oil, or especially castor oil. If you have that on hand and rubbed into the belly, can help with bloating and pain and nausea. And this is even safe for infants with colic. Also drinking these teas, chamomile, mint, or fennel tea is excellent, especially consuming two or three cups of hot tea in a row can quickly alleviate nausea, gas, and bloating in just a single sitting for many individuals. The hotter spices that we mentioned, such as ginger, cayenne, black pepper, cinnamon, can also be helpful when there's malabsorption and fermentation is happening in the gut and we want to warm, stimulate, improve bioflow, improve circulation to the intestines, speed up peristalsis when it's insufficient, and this can also be helpful. We might combine it with alternative herbs for best results in these circumstances. So elderly with poor digestion because of hypochlorhydria, malabsorption, will benefit from consuming bitter herbs mixed with these carminatives. You can also combine them with lemon juice or a little bit of vinegar before meals for excellent results. Ginger and lemon is a classic combo as a warm tea for maldigestion that elders can take before meals. You can look up more information in my textbook series, Herbal Formularies for Health Professionals, published by Chelsea Green. This five volume series goes into a, a great amount of detail on treating different digestive issues, as well as all complaints, goes through all the different organ systems in all the volumes and offers materia medica guidance, offers some of the molecular research and mechanisms of action, and guides you on when to use what plant with some formulary examples. I also lead ethnobotany tours to the Andes and Amazon, where I've studied with several different indigenous tribes over the past 20 years. For more information, you can write to me at bghealingarts.apothecary at gmail.com and get on the mailing list for ethnobotany field courses. Also on my website, healingartsapothecary.org, I have links to many different podcasts and webinars. You can also find my blog writings and different PDF beginner files to download to serve as tutorials to becoming an effective herbalist. And thank you so much for listening to Apothecary Talks.